yeah. an actor's biggest tool is their imagination. I never went to secondary school. Make us proud. When my first film was being uh, premiered on Netflix, I did not have a house to sleep in. The Boy Who is the Wind. Mm -hmm. That is my first film on Netflix. With the electricity, we can plant in the dry season. I was just playing with Tewetel and I could feel what I always felt was going to happen. People on top go through a lot. From Kenyan local TV productions like Zora, Mali, Sue and Johnny, this particular guest on the show has featured globally on Netflix. As you watch him on Uradi, Forty Sticks and even Country Queen, you'd be amazed at how much Robert Agengo has been able to achieve. Hello and welcome to Globe Traction. My name is Pasil Telewa and today on the show I sit down with this actor who has been in the industry for two decades. Yeah, you heard me right. And at only 37 years old, Robert has been able to grab some awards in the industry. I hope you enjoy Robert Agengo's story. Come with me. Hey, Robert. But it's an I walk slowly. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Umeunga, you go to the gym? Yes, I do. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice meeting you. Thank you so much for creating time for me today. You too, Hassan. Tell me, where did your passion for acting begin? I grew up in Kibera. I liked watching, you know, we had that, we had this TV that was a, a black and white TV and it, yeah. it didn't have any other channels. There's a time that we could only access KBC. And then KTN came and that was the newest, like, you know, the newest thing on, in the area. So all with all these new shows from international, you know, countries and cartoons and all that. So I used to spend my time just, just, you know, di just thinking myself in the TV, just watching and watching and watching. And I didn't know where to lead to. I was my, there's a time that my dad would come and ask, why am I not watching the news? I'm only watching cartoons and oh, movies. Yeah. So I think I might have had an interest from a very early age that I didn't know. Things started from there. And also in my imagination, mm. my imagination also used to be very wild, but you know, all children's imaginations are wild. But I could play with myself, you know, just having myself as company yeah. with my things. Toys yeah, and stuff, yeah. yeah. You could be driving a sleepers, you know, just in, in your imagination, it's a car and you're on a road. Yes. And you believe it, and it, that's what that's what what is happening. There is actually a lot that comes with just imagining something and believing. An yes. actor's biggest tool is their imagination. If you don't have uh, an active imagination, you yeah. can't be a, a good actor. <laughs> you told me about also turning up at KBC and doing a little bit of stuff then. Yeah, yeah. I went to KBC in Kiwa. Cla primary, I can't remember class gang exactly, but I used to be very active in drama. This was our scouts club, and we had a play, so we went and shot it at KBC. There used to be a show called Children's Theatre and Children's Variety. Wow. So it aired in one of them. And I remember your day, because that was some of the days when everybody just watched KBC. There was only two stations, KBC and KTN. And I walked around the the mko kwa mta yes after kila mtu alikuwa ananijua alikuwa ananiita ameniona kwa tv so that kind of felt, <laughs> yeah yeah it just felt just felt good to have that kind of attention because just after after it may happen during those periods i kukua na hizi station zote na social media na youtube na nini so it was all you are natural sure yeah everybody ali tune in aka watch and also At tv least. was a big thing then yeah yeah you know? yeah, yeah and all the stations, everybody paid attention, so. You've been associated with, you know, those bad roles, you know, like it's gangsterish and mm. it's, you know, those kind of... Is it something that you passionately, you know, you know, seek to do? Or how do they, you know, put you in that sort of box? Like, 
Rob, are you going to take up this role? When I'm uh, analyzing characters, I'm always uh, going to the, to the depth of it. I'm, I'm always, you know, uh, as truthful to the character as possible. So when I was younger, I, used to, I didn't used to, uh, I never got to this kind of roles. I only got good guys and, you know, some kind of, because that's the way I looked. And that's the kind of, you know, the kind of character I could portray then. Yeah. But during this phase of my life, mm -hmm. I sent that. <laughs> Our coffee is here. Thank you. You know, I'd fit some certain type, kind of roles. Yes. Over time, as you grew, you're mm -hmm. welcome. Asante. Yeah. I hope you like the coffee, by the way. Asante. Mm. You're compassing in Dover, Joe. Indogo <laughs> sana. Indogo sana. Mm. Kuongeza. But mm. usually waneka kidogo because the coffee is very strong. Eh? Yeah. You will test it and yeah, yeah, yeah. see what okay, you know, okay. I'm talking okay. about. Okay. Most importantly, I hope you like it. Yes, I do. And I wonder why it has always been their tradition to serve with popcorn. Uh, there has to be a reason, maybe. Yeah, we'll find out. I mean, yeah. I'm a signal. That means you're welcome. Asante. How do you get your roles, Robert? I go for auditions. I look for auditions and attend. Yeah. As an actor, you're always looking for your next job. So as an actor, yeah. you'll never have a new job if you're not going for an interview. You'll always be every contract that you receive, you have to audition for. How do you even know there's something coming up? You look for auditions, there are auditions being posted. There are always people doing productions. So they are looking for people. You see posters, there are pages that what on a post. Casting directors have yeah. pages on social media, on Instagram, on Facebook. Wow. Mm. I thought, you know, it gets to a point in your career when you've done so much and mm. so no one, you know, wants to interview you because, you know, you're beyond that. And they know you can definitely do it. Yeah, well, Is there no particular moment like that? Sometimes I get, you know, sometimes I get writers writing for me roles, writers who have been watching me for some time, or producers who have watched me in other shows. And that's why it may seem, may seem like I'm doing all these kind of villain roles. Yes. You know, because somebody saw me on another show and then they create a character for me on their show. You see, that's, that's how sometimes I get other roles, but sometimes I've even stayed for two years without a contract. Stop it. Yeah. I could say this year I've gone for maybe over 30 auditions up to now, and uh, this year I haven't shot anything. I haven't got any role, any of the characters that I've been auditioning for. I only, I only Really? Yeah. yeah. How, Actually, is that, yeah. how is that even possible? I didn't know that is, you know, something that is likely to happen. Well, in this country, it's a, it's a, it's a funny thing because, you know, so, uh, people don't talk about what they really the go through. The reality, yeah. yeah. But Kwai country, the fact is, some of the people, wale on top, go through a lot. You know, it's just. It's just because you are, you are, they are carrying, you know, you have to carry some certain kind of, you know, weight or kuna vitu flani wezi yani ongelea kusabu ya mali uko. Unajua? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, we only see about one or two percent of the people in the industry. Yeah. The you rest, understand? we don't see them. Yeah, yeah. We, we see them on TV. But we don't know how they live. We only talk about the ones who are on top, the ones who are making, who are making the you know the the, the cream, the the, the all the any they are receiving all yeah, the yeah. you know, there there's some who are, who are doing well, but that's a one percent or two percent. But the rest of working actors, the rest of working actors, the people you would see on TV, 
and and see them kwa barabara na useme wewe ule msaini na nishai muona kwa TV ujue ni nani kuna wale unajua na jini utasema eh ule ule ni nani and even them some of them are not doing very well you know they, they might be doing well in the in their career yeah. but they're not they're not receiving their value Let, let's talk about you personally robert mm. because if you're talking of this year you haven't received any mm. how do you balance because as a human being living on earth is expensive that's mm. a reality you mm. have responsibilities to attend to mm. how do you make you know revenue how do you make money <laughs> the truth is uh, you know you just survive and i think many artists do or even just all over the world, I yeah. think many artists, you just survive, you just find ways of surviving. You adapt because you know that's the situation you're in. Yeah. You know, I've been in the industry for... for Two to, decades now. Yeah, yeah. So by now, I already know, I already know, you know, what it holds. And I don't, because this is where I want to be, I've already found ways of adapting and maneuvering the situation. It's just that sometimes my kids are the ones who have to suffer because yeah, sometimes I, I cannot even take care of myself. Tell me now that you brought in your kids. Mm. Yeah, congratulations because you told me you're a father of? I have, I have children. Yeah. yeah, a father of how many? No, I have children, I have many Oh, African men, men don't count yeah, their kids. I have many children. <laughs> Yeah. How many boys and girls that you know? I have boys and girls, mm -hmm. so that's that's, <laughs> that's, that's, it. that's it. I like that. Yeah. How has it been for you taking care of all these children and you know, the fact that you still want to, you know, be at the top of your career? If I, if I, if I'm here to tell you the truth, uh, yeah. I would, because if it wasn't if it wasn't for their mothers it would have been very hard, yeah. Their mothers have been, uh, they've been a big help, yeah. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but I, I believe everybody goes through this, so. Mm. It's been 20 years plus, what has been mm. the lowest point for you in your life? Ile nye una feel too, like, I've had enough, enough is enough, I don't see tomorrow anymore, you know. This is just extreme. Uh, I felt very bad when you know, my daughter kept on calling me because uh, since she they came from school and like uh, she's she wants to see me but I couldn't I couldn't show up because I didn't you know I could I couldn't show up I didn't have a means to yeah and it's very hard for me to explain that to to her. So I just had to tell her to, that I was doing something and I'll, I'll come. And that made me feel very bad, yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's uh, hard for people to believe. These are things that, you know, I can't, you can't, I can't tell people. Yeah. I can't tell people that I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm one of the people who's supposed to be, many people look up to me. And maybe people think that I'm doing very well. I am doing well in my career. But you are just human. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. So, you know, a lot of people can't believe that I'm in, I can be in this kind of situation. Talk so, to me also about this, you know, the boy who harnessed wind or something. Wind. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about it and your role in it. How does it feel, William? I never went to secondary school. Make us proud. Yes, uh, that's, I was an actor in, the, in it. That's a film that was shot in Malawi. It's based on a true, true story. Yes. It's one of the uh, very, very good films I've ever done because I, I was, you know, I really loved the story. And I'm an actor who's driven by story, by the story. Story is king for me. So you, you, you that was, uh, and then, uh, you know, I, I worked with Chiwetel. Edge of four. The rains came late this year, and now the trees have gone. Chiwetel is one of the actors. Just, just even just before I went in for that audition, I was just looking at his movies. I've always, where, where did the audition for that movie take place? 
they were happening at Jamuri showground. That's oh, where the Blue Sky yeah. offices are. And Blue Sky were the service providers for that film. Oh, amazing. Yeah, Blue Sky is a Kenyan company. Yeah. So they, we had the auditions there for, you know, there are different stages. During the last two stages is when I met Chiwetel and we, we you know, we had a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And all my life, all my life in this industry, I've always been acting, knowing that I can play alongside these guys. These guys who are top that I could see, that I, I really admired their acting. Yeah. I always knew I could play with them. That's, that's what I knew. And I was always yeah. waiting for that moment. And, and that what, moment came. And how do you feel when you, <laughs> when you get to that moment? You know? I, could, I could tell, you know, I could tell. That, that I, could, I could feel. This is what I felt, yeah. honestly. Yeah. I, felt, I felt like this is an actor who's now at my level. That's what I felt. And now it's time to work. And during that moment, during that audition, yes. I think that's the best I've ever done in anywhere. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and, and I, was, I was just playing with Chiwetel and I could feel what I always felt was going to happen. Wow, yeah. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. Yeah. But again, you're doing so well in the local production, yeah. Zora TV series. Yes. You know, like everybody from the villages, you know, across, you know, the counties in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Women that are, you know, housewives, house hubs, mm -hmm. they're tuning to, to you, yeah. you know, every night. Yeah. Tell me about Zora. How did you get into Zora? Uh, Zora, I, uh, I was... I was called uh -huh. by the producer who I've known for a long time. Nibesteako. Well, yeah, but yeah. see, see no, yeah, he's a friend. He's a friend. I've known him for, for a long time. But these are, you know, sort of friends you call um, career friends. Yeah, yeah, I could so say that. So they know your capability. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I always knew, uh, you know, I, I could see him producing other shows and I was not in any of his shows. And, for, and I was even surprised that he called me for this one. But you never know the kind of impact you have on people. You know, you just do your things and move on. So I got this, they wrote a character for me for this particular show. Yes. And that's how I got into it. Because at that point, I was engaged somewhere else. But I was engaged somewhere else. I was engaged I was so I just, I called him and told him, maybe consider to, alafu kakuna changes to tajua vile ya work around. So he did that and, and uh, because I had even given him an option for another actor. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. But, in, but in they a car, wanted you. In a car, no, in a car, that yeah. role was, because I was, 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 I yeah, I get Come that a lot a every day. Deal. Every yeah. day, I get that a lot every day, mm -hmm. every day, because because for uh, your show, honestly, Klingana uh, na standards za TV apa actors really brought their, you know, they tried, and that was the kind of impact they got, you know, from the audience. That's why they keep on asking for the for the rerun or for another season or whatever. Yes, yes. Yeah. But once show me Isha Ningumu Sane Rudi Tena. Ningumu Sane. Well, what are your dreams, Robert? Yeah. You know, I'd like to be able to take care of my children. You know, because I know my level, with my level of actor or acting, I know my value and I know I should be able to at least pay school fees, pay rent, and buy food, and not, you know, and transport. At least I shouldn't be, you know, uh, always on toes. But that's my greatest dream, to be able to overcome that. So I'm trying to find ways. Also because I would say, I can't say that I've been in this industry for 20 years, not getting paid all through. I've had some projects that have paid me, you know, a bit well. 
but because of of the many times that you're not receiving anything, you, you find yourself having a lot of backlogs. Yeah. Sometimes you haven't paid, been paying rent for you know nine months. You haven't paid school fees for a certain time of period. So we keep at a lump sum. You clear all of that. Yeah, yeah. and then sometimes we leap a evil, and then we cast ana kablo pate pate kazi ingine. What we do niambia juu biashara. I've tried. I've tried until I meona maybe. Maybe you know, not everybody is meant. It's not your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I even try. I've tried to produce, and I've tried to. I've, I even have a boxing promotion because I've, I was very active in boxing. Mm -hmm. I have a boxing promotion license. Mm -hmm. I had. A, I have. A, I have a company. I have put up two fights to promote boxing. I've put up my own money. Wow. And I got nothing out of it. You see. So, I've tried doing some business, I've, yeah, I've tried opening a butchery, I've tried doing things, but I, al I always know, you know, what works for you is what you really love to do. So that's why I even try, I even just decided to focus, focus on this. So if it works, it works. If it doesn't, at least I was happy until the end. Eight animals, one bullet for each of you. <laughs> <laughs> 40 sticks, congratulations. Asante. Yeah, I think we can uh, close to that. Asante. Uh, yeah. Mm. How did you get yourself into 40 sticks? I auditioned. Yeah. Wow. I auditioned. Is that one of your, you know, your best ever, you know, works? I haven't done my best ever yet. Wow. Yeah. I know, I know my level as an actor. And I and I feel I am not yet there. Uh, there, I'm not yet where I want to be. Where 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 my standards are. Forty sticks. Yeah. You're a father to you know mm. this baby, Stacy, mm. mm. and of course a husband. Mm. And uh, your wife doesn't know what you do. So yeah. tell tell me about forty sticks by the to the people who haven't watched you know all of it. I like that they get it from, you know, your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 40 Sticks is a story about uh, some convicts who are members of a gang who are trying to escape. So uh, in it, there, is, uh, there are some stories, individual stories of each character. Yeah. And that you have to find out when you watch the show. Yeah. It's still on Netflix, so... Please, if you are Kenyan, you shouldn't have any excuse. Actually, if you have access <laughs> to Netflix, not really a Kenyan yeah. thing, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Where did you film from? In Nairobi, mm -hmm. yes. At, at Ngong Forest, mostly. The set was uh, a night, night set, mostly. Most of the days were, yes, yes. were, night, were nights. And then we had to... Sh we had to sh most, of, most of the locations were in the forest, so almost everything and was how, in the forest. And how long did that take to put together? We, we went for two weeks. Yeah. The whole 40 states yeah. is a two-week production. Yes, because it was a low-budget production. Yeah. And, uh, so but you it can't... looks really cool. It doesn't look like it's a low-budget. Yeah, yeah. It, the, the producer really tried his best because even midway into the production, we ran out of money and we could we could see because at some point we used to eat well on the set and then there's no more food and we're shooting at night you know it becomes harder but he really tried his best he covered everything he covered all the bases ali kwa na make sure kama mtu amesema na kitu inatakikana hata hautajua kuna shida atapata namna na itakuja itakuja lakini because he knew yes is halfway to finish a product. Thank you so much, Robert. I got you a little something. There you go. Open it by yourself. Okay, so sour. This is nice for the evenings when it gets a little chilly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. And welcome to the family. Asante sana. Yeah. Best wishes, Robert. Asante. Yeah. You too. Robert's story is the definition of consistency, resilience, and tenacity. And I hope you liked it. 
Many thanks for watching the show today. Join us again next Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Kenyan time only on KTN News as we bring you more stories of people making impact across the globe. If you have a story you'd like to share with us, don't hesitate. Write to us through globetraction at standardmedia.co.ke or DM us on our social media platforms at globetraction or at KTN News KE. You know, I like it when you follow me also on my social media platforms at Pasil Telewa on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok for more of behind the scenes and many other experiences. I hope to catch up with you again same time, same place. Bye-bye for now.